Hello there! A quick and dirty shootout for voiceover microphones today. Um, the contestants. The NT1A from Rode with a C12 capsule. That's a small little mod that I did. There's a C12 capsule inside the NT1A. That'll be the first one up. Next up is the microphone-parts.com kit microphone. It's the MPV57 PCB kit microphone with the C12 capsule inside. I just um, built this thing today. Next up, the Rode Procaster. Okay, the only dynamic microphone in this light up. Then the SM137 Shure, small condenser. An old Sony um, camera microphone, a small condenser as well. And last but not least, the NT3 by Rode. Everything runs through a VoiceMaster Pro Platinum from Focusrite. All the settings will be exactly the same. Um, that is patched through a Clark Technique uh, DN500 and then into an Onyx Mackie system directly into Audition. So let's get started. First up is the NT1A, the Rode NT1A with a C12 capsule inside. This circus board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformer that is circuit pioneered by Schweppes in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do-it-yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Now, um, that PC over there is running on water cooling, so we shouldn't hear anything because it's not really audible um, for the bare ear. There's one fan on and uh, a couple of hard drives. So I'm going to turn the expander off and we're just going to have a listen. Next up is the MP-V57 PCB kit microphone with a C12 capsule inside. It is also by far the lightest microphones, uh, weighing less than half than the others. Um, it is available from microphone-parts.com. Um, yeah, it's a kit, so you actually build the PCB and the entire microphone yourself and put the capsule in that you want. And here's the text. This circus board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformerless circuit pioneered by Schoeps in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do-it-yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Now let's have a listen to that PC in the background. Next up is the Rode Procaster. I had to turn up the gain to um, plus 40 dB, um, since this is a dynamic microphone. This circuit board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformerless circuit pioneered by Schoeps in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do-it-yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Let's listen to the... My god, losing it today. Let's listen to the PC in the background. Here's the Shure SM137. The circuit board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformerless circuit pioneered by Schoeps in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do-it-yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Let's have a listen at that computer. And here's the Sony um, broadcast microphone. It's a directional. Um, it's called 296. Never heard of it. Um, I just found this in one of my boxes. I uh, had it for years. So let's give this a try. 
This circuit board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformerless circuit pioneered by Sherps in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do it yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Listen to that computer. And last but not least, the Rode NT3, a small diaphragm um, condenser microphone. This circuit board kit implements a highly optimized version of the transformerless circuit pioneered by Sherps in a form factor that fits dozens of inexpensive donor microphones from numerous popular manufacturers. It incorporates a third generation board layout designed with do-it-yourself in mind and all the sonic magic of many years worth of upgrades identified by leaders in the audio circuit design community. Let's have a listen at that computer again. So what is my verdict? Um, well, I personally absolutely can't believe that for 300 bucks, um, the microphone minus parts.com microphone, this little baby here with a C12 capsule inside and um, on the circuit board, I activated an attenuation of minus 3.5 decibels around 10 kilohertz, I think, uh, when I build the thing. This is my favorite. I mean, just for um, clarity, for range, for, um, I don't know, it is just airy, it is clear, it is honest, that is my absolute favorite. However, it is a large diaphragm. So for voiceovers, and unless you have a treated room, which I don't, and an absolute quiet environment, it is a bit tricky to record with, especially when you have children running around upstairs uh, like crazy people. Um, for the average commercial voiceover, I still prefer uh, the Rode Procaster. It is the heaviest and uh, funnily enough, um, the kit microphone is the lightest. Um, but since it's a dynamic microphone, um, you really don't have any noise whatsoever of the room, of the table, of the feet, of uh, foley's, anything. There's no noise except for what comes right from the front of it. and um, for quick and dirty work, the Rode Procaster, quite honestly, is still my favorite. However, for high quality uh, voiceover with a lot of range um, and obviously dependent on the person speaking, the kit microphone from microphone-parts.com is, has blown me away. Let's put it like that. It has absolutely blown me away. Um, that's the one to get. For 300 bucks, you just can't go wrong.